What's up guys, that really gross guy here, and we're back, and I wanted to quickly show you guys what has been released in Tenogen Round 11, Wave 1 of Warframe, and we're going to jump over here, check out the Tenogen categories, uh, hopefully you guys are excited about this, I'm always excited when new Tenogen comes out, uh, I just, I love it, um, but first off, let's jump on the Cyandanas, we have the Cryona, uh, we'll go as close to alphabetical as we can, uh, Cryona, which is right here. I actually think this looks pretty cool. Um, I want to I want to see what kind of colors I can make this top part into. Uh, I can make probably make it pretty orican looking, and I would be stoked about that. But uh, I'm kind of curious um, because this looks like the colors are divided up in a good aesthetic, uh, aesthetically pleasing fashion. So I'm kind of excited about that. And then just the long cloth seems almost ragged and ancient and i feel like we could get this on a few frames and look pretty cool especially like i said maybe some orican or like prime frames give that orican look i don't know but there you go cryona cyandana by lead 2012. uh next up is going to be the pistris petri I, I don't know uh way down uh, i know we're passing some of these stuff that we're going to take a look at here in a moment but like i said let's get out the uh cyandanas first so <laughs> this one um if we get a shark frame maybe uh, this personally isn't isn't my taste. Some people might be really stoked about this. Uh, you might be able to pair this up with, let's say, you know how some people use tanfas as like wings or something. You might be able to pair this up and make something look really cool. But personally, for my taste, I'm not really not really feeling it. Uh, but this one is made by Stenchery. If you are excited about it, get your hands on it. Uh, but anyways, uh, keep in mind that I do like to throw on very basic default frames that we can get a good idea of the stuff last thing we want to do is change up colors put weapons on or whatever and make it so that uh the the actual focus is not on the actual new stuff uh anyways let's jump over um let's see i want to go i want to go as close to alphabetical as possible so we have a Hydroid, Rhino, Vauban, Saren, and Wukong. So let's go down. I think Hydro Hydroid will be the first. So swinging down, let's go E, F, H. So Hydroid, Pos Pos Poseidon by Stench Fury. So there you go. If you want something from Stench Fury, uh, this, is, this is the one. Um, I know he's had some other good stuff, but in this wave, look at that. Look at that. That is aggressive. That is cool looking. I like it. I like it. A little bit more bulky for, like, the, you see the shoulders and stuff. A little bit more bulky than a regular Hydroid. A little bit more aggressive. Um, whether you would pick this over Hydroid Prime is probably up to your taste, but, man, this does look good. This looks cool. Um, so, that one by Stunch Fury, again. Uh, at the same time, there is a Polearm skin. So, let me actually see if I can find that real quick, because... I want to keep the categories together. There it is. Polearm, Forcist, for, Forcist? Uh, Cyandana. Look at that. That goes with the... It doesn't go with the Hydron skin. You have to purchase it separately. But it is designed with that Hydroid Poseidon in mind. And man, does that look so cool. So cool. Good job, Stench Fury. I love that. I love that for sure. Uh, and then we'll go back up with the... Uh, what is it? H, uh, R, I guess we're gonna go with R, so Rhino, um, Rhino skin, Rhino, Rhino Mastodon skin, bam, there it is, that looks cool, that looks cool, so I've, I've recently been working on a, uh, a Rhino to show you guys, a new, uh, themed Rhino, fashion frame Rhino, I guess, and... I've been debating on if I wanted to implement a skin with it or not because I like the way it looks now, but this might be the way I want to go with that skin. Um, I'm doing a cool new video, uh, highly edited and stuff like that, with a few frames and some really cool designs and looks, and this might be my rhino skin. Just, just hints, there is a rhino in the group. So, anyways, let's leave it at that. But that, it looks, that looks great. That looks great. This looks very aggressive looks uh menacing for sure but this is by volvjorn um very good volvjorn i recently did his carniflex skin spotlight if you want to check that out but man actually that went up yesterday but that looks cool good job good job for sure uh then we have rhino sarin sarin so just tipping down 
right down in this area. And it's the Nepolis, right? Yes, it is the Nepolis. So, bam, there you have it. Saren's been getting quite a bit of love. Um, you got this this good-looking, like, what do they call it? Freaking hairstyles. I don't know. Um, but, and then this flower in the back. Man, this is cool. This is cool. There's a there's competition in the Saren skins for sure, and this one absolutely competes for sure. Um, but bulky, cool looking. I really like uh, this bluish aesthetic that kind of comes through here, that kind of bounces back and forth. Um, just cool. It's a great addition. Uh, I like the metallic, the way it cuts up and then cuts in. It looks more. Um, machine you know like like cyborg and and then the blacks added in there just makes this thing look like like machine or machinery or you know uh um uh you know a warframe it just it just fits the theme in my opinion looks great looks great good job luke and you um and then uh see here's the competition here's the competition strong competition but man this one fits this one fits it fits in the group um so your your personal preference so We'll go over to, what is next? Sharon, Wukong, or Vauban? All right, so, Vauban. Oh, this skin is so good. I don't know, some people may not be too enthusiastic about the Grenier look or the fact that it's Vauban, but man, I think this looks awesome. I love this, I love this. Not to mention, not to mention, did it, did it make it into this group? I don't think it did. There is a Tanfa skin coming with this Vauban that looks awesome. Um, this is by Favin. Um, I believe, yeah, Fa Favin, Favin. Um, I think it's Favin. I think it's Favin. So, uh, this oh, just the Grenier aesthetic is, is in my opinion, if you, if you enjoy the Grenier aesthetic and you enjoy Vauban to some degree, this you gotta get this you gotta it's so good i'm i'm considering i want to get one skin from each wave uh so i can do a ton of spotlight for you guys and this might be the one i want to see what you guys think i want to i want you guys to vote in the comments let me know which one you want to see but i'm i'm, I'm big on this one I'm not trying to be biased or sway votes but i'm big on that one i'll eventually i will eventually get that i will eventually get that for sure so let me know what you guys want to see. And lastly, Wukong. This is the other one that I was like, ooh, I might, I might have to. Is it Am Amen? Amen? Um, from, yeah, it is. Um, there it is. Oh, this looks, this looks like, I don't know. I don't want to say edgy. By Rakao. Rakao has brought out some really cool stuff in the past. But this looks very, uh, um, ninja at like cyborg ninja if you were to see an anime of a robot ninja this is the description this is what it would look like this thing looks freaking awesome oh this is this is our uh, arguably the i don't know what other wukong do we have i know i know we have another we have a helmet yeah I was gonna say this is this is arguably the best Wukong skin, but it, it is it is. I mean, there's nothing else, so it is. But damn, um, if you're a Wukong player and you're looking for a different change, this is your only option. But it is an amazing option. It's so good. So I'll leave my opinions there. It looks great, phenomenal, great job, Rakao. I'm a big I'm a big fan. I want to get into Wukong, and I might have to now that this skin is here. I might have to. Um, and then there is a Galatine skin and a sword skin. Um, okay. And then an Oberon or Oberon deal. So let's jump up to an Oberon helmet. Um, I kind of liked it. I liked it. Um, I think I upvoted it and everything. And, um, I at some point want to implement it. Uh, however, I've kind of mentioned in the past that helmets, um, for six bucks US is uh, a little bit steep. I would go. I would go all out if it had a full skin, and I would probably get this. Um, I would like to get the helmet at some point. This is by Malayu and the Grimrock, so a collaboration there. Um, but 
it looks it looks really good. If you're an Oberon fan and you don't mind just getting a helmet, this is oh, this is great. Um, I like it. I really do. And like I said, if there was a skin with it, I'd be all for it. Um, but because it's a helmet, I might hold off. Um, you know, bang for your buck. You know what I mean? Um, but great job. Great job. Uh, so there is the Galatine Majesty skin. Okay, so Galatine. There's a few Galatine skins coming out. Uh, there it is, the Majesty skin. This one looks great. This one looks great. This one is slimline. Um, however, there is going to be competition on this Galatine skin in the future. Not to mention the Giant Dynasty uh, skin that's already in the game. But still, this looks great. This, ah. Oh. It's good. It's a good. It's a good skin. Um, but keep in mind, there are two more coming. So if you are if you are hyped for a Galatine skin, um, you may want to check out and see which ones are 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 for you out of the ones that are coming out. But um, great job, Procetizen. Um, he's been putting out some good stuff too. These guys are great. These guys are great creators. They deserve. They deserve. You know the the love. So keep in mind that a portion of the profits to each one of these. Do, does go to the creator. It does go to the creator. It doesn't just go to digital extremes. So, and then there is a sword skin. But is it a long sword skin? I don't know what they would have. Oh yeah, long sword Darrow skin. Bam! That looks cool. That's cool. If you are a Corpus person and you want a cool skin uh, that that matches Corpus for long sword. Uh, Lucanu has provided you with one. Keep in mind, there is a Excalibur Corpus looking skin coming out and this would fit him so well. That is coming probably uh, maybe the next wave or the one after that. So it is in round 11. So keep your eyes out for that if you are a Corpus person. So uh, if you do want to check out all the skins, I do have a video of that. It is a little bit lengthy, but I wanted to give attention to each one of the skins. Uh, make it worthwhile because you know a minute talking about a skin uh, is more than deserved because these guys put hours and hours and hours into these skins. So um, it's uh, just guys, guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for these upcoming waves. Let me know what you think. Let me know which skins you're going to buy. Let me know what skin that you would be interested in uh, me doing a spotlight on and. Uh, I'll try to do that for you. I will absolutely try to do that for you. Um, I'm going to try and do one of these. I'm going to try and do one of these. Who's going to take it? It's your guys. Your guys' personal personal preferences are going to weigh in on this because I want to know what you guys want to see. But at the same time, um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for, for some of these. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, sorry this was a little bit long just looking at skins, but they deserve... They deserve the spotlight, man. They really do. Anyways, thank you. I will see you guys in another video. Blah!